Hey guys, we're here with 100% Math and Science. This is our first YouTube video ever. If you haven't checked out the description of our channel, we post videos explaining high school level math and science concepts. So, let's get right into it. The equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. So, let's just get a visual, a graph, y-axis, x-axis, one, two, three, four, five, five, minus one, minus two, plus three. Alright, so for the sake of an example for this video, we're just going to use this perfect diagonal line. It would be a perfectly straight line on a graph. Um, if you don't know that this line is called, the equation for this line is called y equals x. And we'll get into why that is when we get into y equals mx plus b. So just as a review, the any line plotted, any line on a graph has an equation where given the x value at any point, you can do something with the x value to figure out the y value at that exact point given the shape of the line and where it is on the graph. So y equals mx plus b. So what does m stand for? m is the slope of the line. So slope is kind of self-explanatory. The meaning of it, it pretty much just means how steep the line is. A larger slope means it's steeper. A uh, smaller number would mean it's more flat. So the equation for slope, the formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now this can be confusing, so I'm going to really go into detail explaining this. So the way to do this for slope is you take any two points on the line you're trying to find the slope of. So for this line, let's say we're going to take 3, 3 here, and uh, this isn't a perfectly drawn line, but minus 2, minus 2. So we have 3, 3. 3 and minus 2, minus 2. This is our first point, and this is our second point. So that's what we mean in subscript when we write 1 and 2. So the y value of the first point and the x value of the first point. So, so if we were to look at this and plug in the numbers here, what's y1? So we have our first point. We know we're dealing with the first point, which is this one. So 3, 3, the y value is always the second one, so that's 3. So this now would be 3 minus the y value of the second one, which is, this is the second point, the y value is the second one, is minus 2. So 3 minus minus 2 divided by x1, which is this one, x, which is the first number, which is 3, and the second, x2, which is minus 2, minus, minus 2. So 3 minus minus 2 is 3 plus 2, which is 5, divided by 3 minus minus 2, which is also 5. So 5 over 5, which is 1. So the slope of this line is 1. So, so far, we have y equals 1x plus b. So that's pretty much the concept of the slope. Now let's look at b. b is a simpler concept. b is the y-intercept, which in simpler words is just the value on the y-axis, on the y-axis, which is this, where the line is crosses it. So in this example, it's the origin, which is zero on the y-axis. If there was a line like this, it would be about two and a half, so on. So that's b. In this, it's zero. So we have y equals 1x plus zero, which can be simplified to y equals x. And that's where we derive y equals x. That's the equation of this line. And this works for every single straight line on a graph following this exact y equals mx plus, plus b formula. 
Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below for any questions or new content you want to see. If you thought this video was helpful, like and subscribe to our new channel, 100% Math and Science.